Well, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, head on down to the Brady District. That area's new Guthrie Green. It's opening today for the first time. And 2 News reporter Dan Perlman is live with more on all of the weekend's events. Dan? Hey, Dina. Well, yeah, you know, the first event here at the Guthrie Green is actually already underway. The United Way's Day of Caring is just now getting started. But I want to talk specifically about the park. It's called Guthrie Green for obvious reasons. Take a look around. You can see all of the green here. But it's really about more than just that. And for more on this, I want to bring in Stanton Doyle with the George Kaiser Family Foundation. Stan, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, it's our pleasure. Thank you. Now, we're talking about how this is also environmentally green. Let's go ahead and take a little walk over here. These are the bio -swim which are all around this park. Why don't you go ahead and tell me what exactly these do? Sure, it's a pretty simple concept. Um, when you have a, a structure like the pavilion here uh, with the runoff water, the bioswale collects the runoff from the pavilion and just from a, the sidewalks and channels it through the park. Uh, while it helps feed the plants, irrigate the plants, the plants help clean the water before it goes into the storm sewer and eventually into the Arkansas River. Excellent. Now, I know obviously there is a lot more than just the green aspects to this park. Uh -huh. Tell me, you guys helped really finance this and put this thing together. Why is this something that Tulsa really needs? Uh, we really thought, I mean, it's, it's uh, we needed uh, something for downtown Tulsa, a, um, a central gathering spot, especially for the new arts district and um, a place for people to gather for performances and the idea is to kind of help bring people downtown and uh, provide some uh, entertainment just to gather people in downtown, people who hadn't visited downtown before and give them a chance to be, experience local arts and just really just a place to relax and be a center point for downtown Tulsa. Excellent. Now, I know right behind us we have Lucky's on the Green, one of the uh, bar or the bar and restaurant for the park. Yeah, yeah. Lucky's, uh, we've been working with Matt Kelly, uh, Lucky's on Cherry Street, and he's come up with a great concept, uh, just the International Park Fair uh, with a number of different uh, meals and then cotton candy, gelato, uh, and then local organic beer and wine and things like that. All right, Stan, thank you very much for joining us Certainly, out here. There are a lot of events going on out here throughout the weekend, and it's all free, so you can bring the family down whenever you have a chance. Live in downtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you. Sounds like a good time. Thank you, Dan.